Welcome fellow builders. Today we're going to dive into the intriguing world of rotary encoders to navigate MP3 files on a mini MP3 player with the help of an Arduino. Imagine being able to go up and down the list of MP3 files on your SD card with just a simple turn. I've already utilized this fun and straightforward project in my Star Wars Communications Interceptor, and now it's time for you to get your hands on it. This is the second video in my MP3 series, but this tutorial is self-sufficient and can be followed independently. But if you need help on troubleshooting the MP3 player and SD card preparation, refer to my first video. Let's get started. You're not authorized in here. Let's look at the wiring. I am using an Arduino Uno in the wiring diagram, but if you're using an Arduino Nano, you're in good hands. The wiring process, including pin numbers, is the same for both. Now let's talk about the MP3 player. It's a budget-friendly piece that's easily available on Amazon. It's called the MP3 TF16P or sometimes DF Player Mini. When choosing your speaker, remember that it needs to be 3 watts or less. This is because our MP3 player can only support up to this limit. For this demonstration, I'm using a mini 2 watt speaker. We'll first tackle wiring for this type of rotary encoder, which is quiet breadboard friendly. After that, I'll show you how to wire a second type of commonly used rotary encoder. Rest assured all the links to the components used are readily available in the video description. Now for the MP3 player, I've put pin numbers here. I number the pins because the MP3 player has no pin numbering on it. And take note of the notch here at the top and the orientation of the SD card holder so that you're wiring the proper pins on the MP3 player. So pin number one is connected to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. Pin number two is connected to one side of a one kilo ohm resistor. And the other side of the resistor is connected to pin 11 on the Arduino. Pin number three of the player is connected to pin 10 on the Arduino. Pin seven on the player is connected to the ground pin on the Arduino. Pin six is connected to one terminal of the speaker and pin 8 is connected to the other terminal of the speaker. Now to wire the rotary encoder, the ground pin is connected to the ground pin on the Arduino. The plus pin, the 5 volt pin is connected to 5 volt on the Arduino. SW pin, which is the push button of the rotary encoder is connected to pin 4 on the Arduino. The data pin of the rotary encoder, the DT pin, is connected to pin number 3 on the Arduino. And the CLK pin, which is the clock pin of the rotary encoder, is connected to pin 2 on the Arduino. Now let's look at the wiring for this other type of encoder, which is not breadboard friendly, but works the same as the first one we wired and the code will be also exactly the same. And I've labeled here the pins because there are no pin identification on this rotary encoder. So the CLK pin of the rotary encoder goes to pin two on the Arduino. The ground pin goes to the ground pin on the Arduino. The data pin goes to pin number three on the Arduino. The push button pin goes to pin number four on the Arduino. And there's another ground pin that is also connected to the ground on the Arduino. And here is how the wiring looks on my breadboard. And I'm using an Arduino Nano because I like the small form factor. But if you're using an Arduino Uno, the, the code, the wiring, the pin numbers is exactly the same. So no worries. Next up is getting your SD card loaded with your favorite sounds. 
So ensure your SD card is 32GB or less and formatted with FAT16 or FAT32. Now since I am a diehard sci-fi prop builder, I'm using sound files of the beloved R2D2 and I found a treasure trove of MP3 files from various sci-fi movies and series on this website 101soundboards.com and I've put the link in the video description. Now this is the list of files that I've got on my SD card, so I have 10 files. And the order in which uh, they are stored is important. And that's because in code we're going to reference the file to be played by a number and not by a file name. So if you sort your folder by the date modified from the oldest to the newest, the first file will be referenced as track number one in the code. This one will be track number two and so on. So the last file in my case on my SD card will be track number 10. So once your files are all set and copied, it's as easy as inserting the SD card into the MP3 player. We need now to add some code, which is our next subject. Now we're going to download the files, the code that uh, we need for this project. So in uh, the video description, I've put the link to my GitHub repository where you can get the code. So once you're there, you click this button code, download zip. So it's going to download a zip file into your download folder. And once it's, it's done, you uh, extract all the file into a folder. And you need to make sure that the folder name is the same name as the sketch file. So in, in that case, it's mp3 underscore rotary.ino. So we have to rename the folder. So I'm going to remove the dash main uh, into the file name. So now the, the folder name is the same as the sketch, the sketch file, because if you don't do that, the Arduino, the Arduino ID is going to complain. Now let's double click the sketch file name. So it's going to open the Arduino IDE. Perfect, the Arduino IDE is open. Now we need to make sure that the driver for the MP3 player is installed. So you go to the uh, library manager and in the search bar, search for player. And if I go down a little bit, we're going to see this one, the FRobot DFP player mini. It's the library that we need. So click install. It's going to install the library. Now let's close this. And I'm going to explain the code a little bit later in the video, but first let's upload it to the Arduino. So make sure first that we have your board selected. In my case, I have an Arduino Nano installed and available on, com, on the COM7 port. So if you have a Uno on your side, you just have to select the Uno board by using uh, select another board and choosing it here in the list. So now we can upload it. So I'm going to upload the code. Now uploading, it's done. Now, if you're pleased with what you've seen so far, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. So now the code is uploaded onto the Arduino. I'm going to open the serial monitor by hitting on the keyboard Control Shift M. So we're going to see that the first thing it does is initialize the MP3 player and calculating the number of tracks I have on my SD card. So if we go into the setup function here, we're getting the number of file, the file counts that uh, we have on the SD card and printing it on the serial monitor. So on my SD card, I have 10 tracks of R2D2 sounds, and this number will be different on your side, depending on the number of files on MP3 files that you copied uh, onto your SD card. Now, if we go look at the main loop function, so there are two things 
that the main loop function does. The first thing is reading the push button of the rotary encoder. So this knob here can be turned or be pushed. So when we push it, the code will play a random track on the SD card. So that's the first thing the, that we are doing in the main loop. And the second thing we're doing is reading the rotary encoder. So reading the orientation of the turning of the encoder. So when we turn it clockwise, it will play the next track on the SD card. And when we turn it counterclockwise, it's going to play the previous track on the MP3 player. Now we're going to turn the knob clockwise and counterclockwise. Now you see on the serial monitor that we print when the rotary encoder is turned clockwise and what is the track being played. So we've turned it clockwise four times. So it played track number one, two, three, and four. And after that, we turn it counterclockwise. So it played track number three, track number two, and track number one. Now let's see what happens when we push the uh, button of the rotary encoder. So when we push the button of the rotary encoder, it's playing random track. And we see here on the serial monitor, the plaque be the, the track that has been selected at random. And we put the number of the track here on the serial monitor. Now I had some problem when recording the video because this rotary encoder is kind of wobbly on the, on, on the breadboard, even though uh, it has some pins that are um, easily inserted into the breadboard. So it's inserted into the breadboard, but they are wobbly and sometimes it gives a bad connection. So I had to hold it down like this um, when turning the knob to make sure that uh, the connections were um, very good with the MP3 player. And if you had any trouble similar to that, Make sure that all your wires are well connected on the breadboard, that your rotary encoder is well connected also on the breadboard. It makes good connections to avoid any problems with the MP3 player. Now for the rest of the code, um, here we have the initialization of the rotary encoder, um, the code, the function to read the push button, the function to read uh, when the encoder is turned clockwise or cl counterclockwise. And here at the top, you have um, some definitions regarding the pins where uh, the rotary encoder is connected to on the Arduino and the debounce value for the push button, which uh, on my side, I've, I, I've tried some, some values and I found that 250 milliseconds are good for the push button and 250 milliseconds for the rotary, the turning of the knob is also good on my, on my side. You can change this value if you found it uh, not working well with your rotary encoder. And here I have uh, the volume level uh, where the songs at, at which the songs the tracks are played and I'd love to hear your thoughts on what should be my next focus in this mp3 player series drop your ideas in the comments I always appreciate your feedback and I make sure to read and respond to each one thanks for tuning in